Greetings everyone, so today I want to talk about the sidewalk feature through Amazon that's about to be activated on June 8th. Now the sidewalk feature is going to connect your bridge enabled devices through your neighborhood or your city to create this global network of Wi-Fi connection. Now most of your devices are already enabled to take advantage of this feature, but you can turn it off. I made a video of how to make that possible. So go ahead and check the link in the description for that video so you can turn off that feature if you don't want to be opt-in. Now in this video, I'm going to cover some frequently asked questions about the Amazon sidewalk feature. Okay, so the first question is, what is the Amazon sidewalk feature? According to Amazon, the sidewalk shares network to help devices work better. It operates by Amazon at no charge to the customer. The sidewalk can help simplify new devices setup, extend the low bandwidth working range of devices to help them find pets or other valuables with a tile tracker to help devices stay online even if they're out of range of their home Wi-Fi. In the future, sidewalk will support a range of experiences from using sidewalk enabled devices such as a smart camera and lighting and diagnostics from small appliance and tools. So basically Amazon is building an AI software using their Amazon devices. That's basically what this is boiled down to. But it's gonna be using your home Wi-Fi connection to make that possible, to make that connection possible that is. Now if you're out and about and say you got your Amazon enabled devices and you're not on your home network, what it's gonna do is connect to that global network in your neighborhood or somewhere in the city to make your devices stay online. Now, like I say, if you don't want to be part of the sidewalk, all you have to do is follow the link in the description where I did a video of how to opt out of it. So the next question is, how will sidewalk impact my personal wireless bandwidth and data usage? So according to Amazon, the maximum bandwidth from the sidewalk bridge to the sidewalk server is 80 kilobytes, which is about 1 40th of the bandwidth used to stream a typical high definition video. today. When you share your bridge connection with Sidewalk, the total amount of data usage by Sidewalk per account is capped at 500 megabytes, which is the equivalent of streaming 10 minutes of high definition video. So basically what they're saying is they're not gonna use a lot of data coming from your Wi-Fi connection, from your internet connection that is, and it shouldn't exceed 500 megabytes per month. So once they reach that 500 megabytes, according to Amazon, they're gonna stop pulling data from your Wi-Fi connection until the following month. Now that's according to them and not what I'm saying. Now, like I said, the sidewalk feature is optional. You don't have to actually join into it. So the next question is, why should I participate in Amazon sidewalk? Well, according to Amazon, Sidewalk help your devices get connected and stay connected. For example, if you have an Echo device that loses its Wi-Fi connection, Sidewalk can simplify reconnecting it to the router. For select Ring devices, you can continue receiving motion alerts from the Ring security camera and customer support can still troubleshoot problems even if the device lose Wi-Fi connection. Sidewalk can also extend the working range for your sidewalk enabled devices, such as ring smart lights, pet locators, or smart locks, so they can stay connected and continue working over a long distance. Amazon does not charge any fee for joining sidewalk. Now, not all Amazon devices that you own are enabled to use this feature. It has to have the sidewalk enabled feature for you to participate if you want to participate. Okay, so what if you have some sidewalk enabled devices and you decided to opt out? Will that device continue working? Well, that's the next question we need to answer. So the answer is yes. According to Amazon, all of your sidewalk bridges will continue to have their original functionality. Even if you decide to disable Amazon sidewalk, disabling means missing out on sidewalk connectivity and location related benefits. You also will no longer contribute to the internet bandwidth to support your community, extending the coverage benefits such as locating pets and valuables with the sidewalk enabled devices. So yes, your sidewalk enabled devices are gonna still work just like they're originally intended to. That sidewalk bridge feature is just adding additional functionality based on your 
location and able to find stuff. But you don't have to actually opt into it, especially if you're not going to use those function or you're not going to be part of that network. So basically, you're not really missing out on the functionality of the device. You're just going to miss out on the extra stuff that Sidewalk has to offer. So the next question is, what if there's not a lot of bridges in your neighborhood? Well, this is going to depend on how many people participate in this service. So the Amazon sidewalk coverage may vary by location based on the number of participating bridges in your location. The more sidewalk bridges customers who participate, the better the network becomes. So basically, if more people opt into it, you're going to have better service. If less people opt into it, you're going to have poor service. Now, my feeling is at least 50 percent of the people are not going to opt into this because they're concerned about privacy issue. Now, according to Amazon, I'm pretty sure they're going to try and cover your privacy, which we'll probably get into in a later question. But just for that sake, I think some people don't care, but at least half of those people do care about their privacy and they're going to automatically opt out. So the next question is, where can I change my Amazon sidewalk preferences? For ring customers who own a sidewalk enabled device, you can choose to update your account sidewalk preferences anytime from your control panel in the ring app or the ring website for echo customers who have sidewalk enabled devices you can update your sidewalk preferences anytime from the settings in the amazon voice assistant app if you have linked your ring and amazon account your sidewalk preferences on either the amazon voice assistant app or the ring app will apply to your eligible Echo and Ring devices. So basically what they're saying, if you want to change the settings that has to do with the sidewalk, you have to go to your Ring app or your Amazon Voice Assistant app to make those changes. Now here's where they talk about privacy. The next question is, how does Amazon Sidewalk protect customers' information? Preserving customer privacy and security is the foundational to how we built the Amazon Sidewalk. Sidewalk is designed with multiple layers of privacy and security to secure the data traveling on the network to keep the customer safe and in control. For example, Sidewalk bridge owners do not receive any information about devices owned by others connected to the sidewalk. So basically what I'm hearing from this answer is, your information is not traveling over the network. It's just the connection. So they won't see your Wi-Fi. They won't see your password. They won't even know what your device is connected to the network. And they definitely won't know what type of music you're playing, any kind of information you're looking up, whether you turn your lights on or off, anything like that. Only thing it's using is the actual internet connection and nothing else. Now, the next one has to do with the same question about your privacy. It says, will I know what other sidewalk enabled devices are connected to my bridge? And the answer, according to Amazon, is preserving customer privacy and security is foundational on how we build Amazon sidewalk. Information transferred over the sidewalk bridges is encrypted and the bridge customers are not able to see the sidewalk enabled devices connected to their bridge. Customers who own sidewalk enabled devices will know that they are connected to sidewalk, but they will not be able to identify which bridge they are connected to. So Amazon is trying to tell you that it doesn't matter which bridge you are connected to, you won't know. You don't know if you were connected to the bridge across the street from you, next door to you, to the left of you, to the right of you, or the house down the street. And vice versa, the person you are connected to will not know that you are connected to their bridge. So the only thing that you will know that you're connected to a bridge, they won't know you're connected to their bridge and no information about the bridge connection is being transferred. The next question is, how does Amazon Sidewalk work? Well, according to Amazon, customers with Sidewalk bridges today, many of them are Amazon Echo devices, Ring Floodlight Camps and Ring Spotlight Camps can contribute a small portion of their internet bandwidth, which is pulled together to create a shared network that will benefit all sidewalk enabled devices in the community. So just like I said earlier, you have to have the device that's capable of taking advantage of sidewalk and it's only using a small portion of your internet to make this whole thing work. So now you want to know 
What are the sidewalk bridges and which devices are able to become sidewalk bridges? Okay, so according to Amazon, sidewalk bridges are devices that provide the connection to the Amazon sidewalk. Today, sidewalk bridges include echo devices and selected ring floodlights and spotlight cams. A comprehensive list of sidewalk devices include Ring Floodlight Cam 2019, Ring Spotlight Cam Wired 2019, Ring Spotlight Cam Mount, Amazon Echo Device 3rd Generation and Newer, Amazon Echo Dot 3rd Generation and Newer, Amazon Echo Dot for Kids 3rd Generation and Newer, Amazon Echo with Clock 3rd Generation and Newer, Amazon Echo Plus All Generation, Amazon Echo Show All Models and Generation, Amazon Echo Spot, Amazon Echo Studio, Amazon Echo Input, and Amazon Echo Flex. So if you have any of those devices on the list, you have a device that's enabled to take advantage of Sidewalk. But remember, you can always disable it if you don't want to be part of this service. The next question is, what does it mean to share your location to my Sidewalk Bridge? You will have the option to help your neighbor by sharing your bridge approximate location to provide benefits like helping them locate their pet. Neighborhoods with sidewalk enabled devices won't be able to see the exact street address of your sidewalk bridge. They will only see an approximate location. This setting will apply to all the sidewalk bridges. Now this is a location type service that's offered through the sidewalk, but it's optional. Therefore, you can decide to turn it on or off. The next question is, what type of devices can connect to Amazon Sidewalk? The answer is, only devices authorized by Amazon to use the Sidewalk low bandwidth connections are allowed to connect to Amazon Sidewalk. So what Amazon is telling you here is that only devices that they authorize can connect to Sidewalk, which means their devices right now. Will other third-party devices be able to take advantage of sidewalk? I'm not sure, maybe in the future, but I'm pretty sure they're trying to keep a tight lid on it because if they just open it up all the way up, hackers probably can just get in and try to manipulate the whole network thing. So I'm not sure how much Amazon is gonna open this up. But at the same time, it's good to keep a tight lid on it to make sure it don't start getting hacked and people information start getting stolen. So they got to keep a tight lid on it, and that's why they're only using authorized devices. So the next question is, is Amazon Sidewalk a replacement for your home Wi-Fi? And the answer is no. Therefore, you can't just use your Amazon bridge to connect to the home network of other people just to use Wi-Fi connection. Sidewalk bridges require Wi-Fi access for normal operation. When Sidewalk is on, your bridge can share a low bandwidth connection with sidewalk enabled devices, like sensors and smart lights that are installed in location around or outside your home where Wi-Fi may not be available. Amazon Sidewalk does not support high bandwidth connection like Wi-Fi and cellular network. So you would still use your connection for streaming movie and posting stuff on social media or sending mail. So therefore you won't be able to connect to your neighbor's sidewalk enable devices to surf the internet and watch movies and stuff like that because it's very low bandwidth. It's just keeping that connection to make sure those devices can still work. But you can't stream a movie or play an online game or do anything that require high bandwidth. So the next question is, what does Amazon charges to use the network? Amazon does not charge any fee to join the sidewalk network, which uses a small portion of the bandwidth from a sidewalk bridge's existing internet service. Standard data rates from the internet providers may apply. So therefore, you're not being charged to use the Amazon sidewalk service, but you still have to pay your internet bill. Now there's some technical question that has to do with developers, so I'm not gonna cover them because I'm trying to keep this as simple for the normal users to understand. So if you're a developer, you can go to their frequently asked questions and get more details on that kind of stuff. So the last question before I end this video says, where is Amazon Sidewalk available? So according to Amazon, Sidewalk is currently only available in the US. Now Biden said it's currently only available in the US, 
That means they're probably working on trying to make it enable in other countries like Europe and Asia and places like that. So if you really want to participate in Sidewalk, unfortunately, it's only available in the U.S. right now. But I guess eventually they're going to roll it out to other countries when that time comes. OK, so those are the Q&A that I wanted to cover in this video. Like I said, I have some technical questions here, but I'm not going to cover them in this video because I'm trying to keep this thing simple so you can understand what Sidewalk is about. OK, so I hope the information in this video about Amazon Sidewalk was useful to you. I hope I was able to express how it works and how your privacy is protected and which devices are able to take advantage of the Amazon Sidewalk. So if the information in this video was useful to you, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave it down in the comment section. Don't forget to check the description of that video of how to turn off the sidewalk if you don't want to participate in it. Thanks for watching this video. Have a good one and I'll see you next time.